right, he all scabs hopping back on the mic just in time to see Ty Tenga take game one over Peanut. And a little bit of a saucy fact here about this matchup. Peanut has an undefeated record against Ty Tenga. Ty Tenga, one of those players that in the online meta actually gave Peanut a ton of trouble. But since we came back offline, Peanut has been on a tear and Ty Tenga unable to put up any kind of set winning resistance. So it would be crazy to see Ty Tenga finally overcome his offline bracket demon in Peanut's Little Mac. Getting back into it, game two, Peanut's counter pick, and Bastion is a stage that I've heard him talk about before. This is a very solid stage for Mac. Broad platform that he can cover with a ton of his options. He can escape with up B, and you can't platform camp him. This is exactly what this character wants to see. Ty Tanga starting off with some good footies, and Peanut a little bit over aggressive with that sudden up B. Not getting too hard punished for him, and forcing Ty Tanga to edge, though. Great movement from Ty Tank. I've always been impressed with the way that he can fade in and out with that focus cancel. <laughs> a little bit of a trip leading to some solid damage, but Peanut got the KO punch. Unable to combo into it right there with that aerial. Gets the tech chase, but can't get the up tilt into up B. All right. Ooh, good thing I didn't miss a Peanut match. <laughs> exactly, yeah. This man... Uh, in an awkward spot here as Ty Tanga was able to capitalize off of that platform jack chase situation the peanut Ooh. went a little bit. I think that's a little bit of a reverse psychology, or not psychology, just we're seeing it in a different situation because that's what peanut thrives off true, of, is true. people missing the text and getting a mile from them. So, Ty Tanga just going to ledge, he's, he's really not greedy with his Ryu. Like, oftentimes when Peanut forces him into disadvantage, he just goes all the way across stage, and these projectiles are eating Peanut alive. Look at the damage being racked up. Right, right, right. So you said he goes okay, in. Okay, really, don't die to that. He, he walked into a level 3 focus. You, des you deserve Aww. that. Peanut <laughs> shaking his head a little bit. It's like, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, to me, it kind of seems like Ryu is just... Uh, Little Mac with a bandana on. <laughs> and sometimes, yeah. In some yeah. cases. But to be honest, I feel like of the show, those Ryu might be the campiest one. His projectiles are super you know, good. You I, because I, I've done commentary for other tournaments online, mm -hmm. and from when I see Ryu's, I'm, it's it's a playstyle I never not expect. Again. Not like this. Oh, my. Oh, he already got up. Yeah, He's Matt, not done yet. You're Matt not done yet, the bell, man. Too, exactly. <laughs> right? You're not done yet? Yeah, this is just a down tilt away from a KO Hopefully punch. he's not mentally exhausted. <laughs> not getting sent to tumble from that down tilt. All right, this is kill percent. Tech chase. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, Peanut drawing to within a stock now. And KO Punch is expensive, but that's exactly what he needed. This is definitely possible. He just needs to stay calm. He's he, getting a little bit mentally tired, I'd say, but just he, hang in there. He needs to not forward smash two times in a row and expect Ty Tanga to, like, not punish him with something. Right, right. Tech chase, but no great no. rollout. Good patience on Ryu's part. And Peanut's starting to, like, really clamp down now. He's starting to play footsies right. in neutral. Ooh, had he gotten that? I don't know. Oh, that definitely would have finished it off fully charged, even a 47, that's enough. Tech chase situation, down tilt, strong Not one gonna have much again. To do Peanut's also. getting these rollouts perfectly. Right, right. I don't think Tay's gonna have- He oh! broke his shield! No! <gasps> no! Ty Tenga! Ty Tenga! Oh no! Oh no. This he man was ready to just get up and leave. As soon as he saw the KO screen, he was like, alright, I'm done. Never mind, I'm gonna come back and just, oh. That was one move ooh. away from Ty Tenga's first offline victory against Peanut, but instead, Peanut with a heartbreaking comeback right there. He got the KO punch read and then immediate shield break. Mac Chank on display. Right, right. Oh, you hate to see it for, mm. for the man who loses, but that's such a hype play. You know what that was? That was like one of those old fashioned Street Fighter magic pixel comebacks. <laughs> when you are forced <laughs> oh, into the corner, I know exactly you got what you're one, talking you about. You can barely see your health bar, and it's like, nah, I got a full meter, dog. Yep, Just yep, don't yep. mess up. Just don't mess. Don't let me back Jerry's in. He's shaking his head. He's like, I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> yeah, he knows he kind of got a little bit of a gift right there, but right, now. Right, right, right. Well, Smash God's looking at him. <laughs> What's Ty Tenga's counter pick here, though? I don't know. I'm not well versed when it comes to Ryu, but if you if you if you're thinking about the same playstyle like you were mentioning about the campier playstyle, I uh, if if, he, if they decide to run it back, it's still in Peanut's favor, I'd say. True. So maybe I'm something like a PS2. I could see a PS2, but I, I'm thinking maybe something like Final D if it's available. Just punish Peanut's landings, make it so that he can't right, right, right. do any kind of platform tech chase. But Small Battlefield instead, definitely a respectable pick. This one, uh, it doesn't have that low ceiling, so perhaps right, right. he will live a little bit longer. Maybe. But uh, yeah, I could still cover those platforms with a plum. Right, because uh, 
Peanut can cover platforms. However, what most people try to do against him, and I've, I've heard him admit this before, is that he's fine when people normally try to camp him out or anything because he's a shark on the ground. Yep. Not much in the air, though. So I think platforms will come more into Tenga's uh, advantage. Look at anything. the Hadoukens coming out, too. Right. We're seeing a lot of just red projectiles here from the Titanga. That, that got buffed recently, too. So that is, uh, oh, that's right. A mm -hmm. little bit more shield damage, I believe. So he right. has, like, two shield break setups, which is interesting, but I don't think particularly oh, oh, it's not going to help him out of that. That's the problem. Is Why that is he shaking Peanut, his head no? <laughs> he, he just hit a down tilt and it's like, now nah, nah, I kill you. <laughs> Remember when I was in disadvantage? No, I don't. It's just him taller and with a bandana on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Alright, so are we going to see like a down tilt Shoryu right here? No, Peanut doing a really Ooh, good job ready for, of yeah. pulling up. He's letting him approach uh, Peanut more mm -hmm. and he's punishing him a lot more for it. But that's the problem, is that you have a two-frame window. If you allow Ryu to get one of them, a quick two-frame down tilt out, right, you're, right. you're just dead. Show Ryu, hell of a move. The battle of reaction when it comes to that kind of neutral. Look at the shield damage those those uh, projectiles do now. It just keeps you locked down so much better. All he needs is a shield breaker, and then boom, perfect. You, you used <laughs> to be able to like walk through it. You take one hit, and then just like down tilt, walk through right, it. Now, right. you just cannot. Give him a Lucina shield breaker, and then he's set. Oh, God. <laughs> Now this character can stay with his stubby little limbs halfway across the stage. I do not want to engage with this character. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no more disjoints. Back here is already a sword. Why? Oh, a punish for that. He already has KO on play. Looking pretty even right, right now. Yeah, this is what Titanga needs to do. Don't go in, just go ahead and try to rely on your projectile game. Retreat to the platforms anytime you feel like you're being threatened. Right, but I think Pino was ready for that one there. He didn't pursue. That jump up projectile was a little bit over committal, and Pina was definitely waiting with that shield. With that kind of F tilt, you would think he has Smash Stick on. He also, this is his death percent right now. Is it? Yes. Okay, I guess you're right. 34. <laughs> oh my. Peanut hit one Smash Attack, and then he was sitting in the shield like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to make listening. you look foolish. <laughs> I think he's listening. He's like, oh yeah, no, he is. That's right. A little right. bit of rage, KO punch. All you need is 20, 30%. True, uh, true, true. Peanut Smash Attacks. My Dang. God. They That's oppressive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've seen it too many times where it's like Peanut's down, but he gets KO punch. All he needs is like a down smash or a forward smash, and yep. then he has co true combos yep. into And it's not KO like punch. his F tilts aren't forward smashes already. True, yeah. It's like just go ahead and tap the shield and dare him yep, do something yep, about there it. There you go. Honestly, I, when you said th uh, this is kill percent, I'm like, he's at 34. What is he talking about? And I just, I, my, I, I was immediately answered. Immediately. <laughs> yeah, that caught me off guard. Like, Peanut knows the confirms to get KO punch connected. Right, right. And so you, you have to be aware of that tool. Real talk, I'm playing lame. I'm sitting on that platform just like, <laughs> exactly, you need to come exactly. to me. I don't want to put up. And if anything, I would feel